now case third that strikes a symmetrical chord vein at the center please this is a symmetrical chord vein the vein is moving with velocity u in this direction positive x direction the jet of water issuing out of the nozzle with absolute velocity v but since the blade is moving therefore the jet would be striking the blade with some relative velocity v minus u since the blade surface has been assumed as frictionless therefore the jet would be leaving the vein with the same relative velocity v minus u v minus u the angle being phi and phi because the blade is symmetrical at an let uh, at both the ends the angle being phi now first of all let me write mass flow rate it it's straightforward rho av minus u because the jet is striking with relative velocity v minus u so the mass of water striking the blade per unit time would be v rho av minus u now fx can be written as force in x direction can be written as m dot into the relative velocity at inlet v minus u minus relative velocity at exit c this is the v minus u cos phi but v minus u cos phi is the component of relative velocity at the exit in negative x direction therefore in positive direction it would be minus of v minus u cos phi therefore fx can be written as rho a v minus u v minus u plus v minus u cos phi therefore fx is equals to rho a v minus u square 1 plus cos phi similarly fy will be zero you can do yourself this f5 was to zero so this is the case third where the jet strikes a symmetrical chord vein at the center again you can appreciate the result that the absolute velocity has been replaced by relative velocity when the vein is moving with the speed u the absolute velocity has been replaced by relative velocity so the idea is that if you are clear with the stationary vein cases then you can uh, you can yourself cover all the moving vein cases now the case fourth in this category the most important case the case fourth in this category a jet of water strikes and unsymmetrical chord vein at one of its end tangential this is the most important case in this category if this case is clear to you then it would be rather easy for you to solve all the cases related to the turbines like pelter wheel turbine or francis turbine kaplan turbine let us take care of this case let me draw a vein this is the vein please observe carefully the vein is moving with velocity u in the positive x direction again now the jet is entering the vein tangentially at one of its end the jet enters the vein tangentially at one of its end and leaves at another end since the jet is issuing out of the nozzle with absolute velocity v but the jet will strike the vein with some relative velocity vr please note two points v is the absolute velocity of jet absolute velocity of jet use the velocity of vein or blade and now i am introducing one important term vr which is the relative velocity
of z with respect to this v since the vane is moving in the direction with velocity u the jet is issuing out of the nozzle with some absolute velocity v therefore the jet would be striking with this the jet would be striking this vane with some relative velocity vr the jet would be striking the vane with some relative velocity vr the jet is striking the vane with some relative velocity vr please note this point very very important point and the relative velocity component must be tangential to the vane for shockless entry for shockless entry this component of relative velocity with which the jet is entering into the vane must be tangential to the vane otherwise if this vr is not tangential to the vane then there will be some shock on the vane so for shockless entry the relative component of the velocity which is vr must be tangential to the vane i think it is very much clear i am again repeating the blade is moving with absolute velocity u the jet is issuing out with absolute velocity v but the jet will enter the vane with some relative velocity vr because the blade is moving and this vr must always be tangential to the vane this vr must always be tangential to the vane for shockless entry now we have to note an important point now i have to draw over here this u and v u vr and v v u and vr are related by this vectorial addition that vr plus u vector is equals to v vector we have to take care of this very important point that vr vector plus u vector is equals to v vector therefore i want i have to add the vr vector and u vector i have to keep simply u with vr over here if i am going to put u over here with vr just put u over here because two vectors can be added two vectors can be added if the tail of a vector is connected to the head of another vector so we are i have put u over here this is u now it is very easy to draw v this will be v this is vr this will be v this will be v clear this is vr vector the tail of the vr vector is connected with the head of the u vector please you have to draw u in the same direction in the direction of the motion of the blade i have simply put u over here so the head of the u has been connected with the tail of the vr this completes this vectorial addition the resultant vector would be the v vector v this is v this angle between v and u is alpha which is known as the nozzle angle alpha is known as nozzle angle the angle at which the nozzle is capped now one important point is there i have to make the two components of this v i am making two components of this v one is vf please note one point at the entry subscript 1 will be used therefore i am writing these as v1 this vf1 is the component of v1 in this direction and there is another component of v1 which is vw1 in the direction of the motion of the blade what i have done again i am repeating i have made two components of v1 there are two components of v1 one is in the direction of motion of the vane and another one is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the vane this vw1 is known as whirl component whirl velocity and this vf1 is known as flow velocity or velocity of flow i have used subscript 1 at the entry this angle is the theta and theta is known as blade angle at inlet theta is known as blade angle at inlet blade angle at inlet theta is known as blade angle at inlet the same could be done for the exit please note it the jet will issue with relative velocity vr the jet will issue out of the nozzle with relative velocity vr2 at the exit i am using subscript 2 i have to simply add u vector in this vr vr2 plus u2 is equals to v2 i have simply added u vector this is u2 i have to keep the direction same u probably u because vane is having uniform speed u at inlet and exit and finally this vector would be v 
okay clear Compo there will be two components of v one is flow component vf2 and another one is whirl component vw2 this is u this is u this is u this is vr2 i have added u in vr2 the resultant vector is v vector there are two components of v one is vf2 another is vw2 flow component and whirl component this angle is beta rather than phi and this angle is beta now angle phi is the blade angle at exit please observe these velocity triangles these are very important velocity triangles students usually do not do not understand the concept they keep on uh, they keep on remembering the things rather than understanding the concept please understand the concept very carefully now i have to again determine fx i have to again determine fx first of all i will write expression for mass flow rate so mass flow rate will be rho a v r1 the velocity with which m dot is the mass of the water striking the vein per unit time the vein uh, the, the the jet of water is striking the vein with relative velocity vr1 therefore mass flow rate will be rho, rho a vr1 now i want to write expression for fx it would be m dot into m dot now i have to take the component of relative velocity in x direction please observe i have to take the component of relative velocity along the motion of the blade to to determine the force in this direction i have to take the component of this relative velocity in the direction of motion of the vein component of relative velocity in the direction of motion of the vein which will be v r1 cos theta similar to previous case minus the component of relative velocity at the exit to the vein this is v r2 so the component of relative velocity at the exit to the vein will be this much which will be vr2 cos phi component of relative velocity component of relative velocity at the exit to the vein this is vr2 cos phi vr2 cos phi in this direction therefore it would be minus vr2 cos phi please observe carefully component of relative velocity in x direction is vr1 cos theta over here component of relative velocity over here, this is vr2 so the component of vr2 would be this this would also be phi therefore component of vr2 in this direction will be vr2 cos phi in this direction it would be minus vr2 cos phi now put these values m dot vr1 cos theta plus vr2 cos phi from the velocity triangles you can write that m dot vr1 cos theta vr1 cos theta can be written as vw1 minus u vw1 minus u plus vr2 cos phi vr2 cos phi will be equal to u plus vw2 the magnitude of vr2 cos phi is equals to u plus vw2 this whole is the vr2 cos phi so u plus vw2 this will be u plus vw2 u plus vw2 therefore fx would be m dot u and u are cancelled out it will be vw1 plus vw2 this is the this is the expression for force exerted on the vein in the direction of motion vein in the direction of motion of the vein please note m dot is the mass of the water striking the vein per unit time which is rho a v r1 rho a v r1 this is vw1 and vw2 now work done on the vein 
पर सेकेंड दिस कैन इजिली बी कैलकुलेटेड एज डब्ल्यू इक्व टू एफ एक्स इन टू स्पीड ऑफ द वेन वेन द फोर्स इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द वेलासिटी ऑफ द वेन वी विल गेट द वर्क डन ऑन द वेन पर सेकेंड विल बी एम डॉट वी डब्ल्यू वन 